started. Um, Madam Clerk, call the roll first, please. Mr. Cantalamesa. Here. Mr. Malloy. Here. Ms. Frenchko. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. This is a uh, special meeting. Uh, I called as president of the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners in accordance with Robert's Rules of Order, a special meeting for today, August 1st at 2.15 p.m. to consider the adoption of a resolution determining to proceed with the submission to the electors, the question of levying a replacement tax in excess of the 10 mil limitation for the purpose of providing or maintaining senior citizen services or facilities. To prevent a lapse in senior services, said levy shall be submitted to the electors in a general election to be held on November 5, 2024, and to direct the clerk of this board to certify a copy of said resolution and certificate of the county auditor to the Board of Elections on or before 4 p.m., August 7, 2024, and notify said Board of Elections to cause notice on the question of levying said tax to be given as required by law. The special meeting, again, is held in the Trumbull County Admin Building, 5th floor, 160 High Street, Northwest Warren, Ohio, 44481 in the Commissioner's Hearing Room by order of the Trumbull County Commissioners, Denny Malloy, President. And we did send this out um, in more than 24 hours notice to multiple media outlets. As you can tell, they're all here with us today. Um, all three commissioners were notified of the meeting as well as um, some other department heads and senior levy people of, of uh, interest. Um, I apologize, I was ill yesterday and this was on the agenda yesterday and um, a vote came up, the vote failed to pass with a uh, majority of the Board of Commissioners. Um, this is something our senior levy is, as we've discussed in previous meetings and we've discussed in workshops, is of the utmost importance, importance we take care of our seniors in the county. It's been debated back and forth that this will average increase of 10 bucks for a resident. And I think, and we discussed in previous meetings, our senior citizens are well worth that. Um, all commissioners are entitled to their opinion, even if their opinion's wrong, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I I felt this is important enough. We couldn't let this slide. We have a deadline, and we didn't have a backup with a uh, – nobody from the board submitted a, a motion from the floor for a renewal, uh, which one commissioner said that she would support, but she didn't submit any uh, counter um, agenda items, so there's nothing there to vote on for that. So that kind of left the senior levy uh, expiration forthcoming without uh, without us being able to put anything on the ballot to protect and take care of our seniors. They need baths, they need TLC, they need attention. Um, it's going to be all of us someday, and it is a lot of our families and and neighbors now. And as as a human society and as a community, you know, we need to take care of our elderly. And and the senior levy was brought up with a purpose years ago. And that purpose still is needed and much needed now as our senior citizen population is going to peak, uh, as we're told, by the year 2030. So we are, we have more seniors in the county now than ever. And uh, we need to do everything we can to make sure we take care of as many of them as we possibly can. And this little bit of increased funding, uh, we'll do that. So with that, again, um, I would like to uh, go ahead and read the motion, if you would, Madam Clerk. To adopt a resolution determining to proceed with the submission to the electors the question of levying a replacement tax in excess of 10 mil limitation for the purpose of providing or maintaining senior citizens services or facilities that the county auditor estimates will collect $3,627,000 annually at an annual tax rate of 0.75 mils for each $1 of taxable value which is the same rate as the existing levy and which amounts to $26 for each 100,000 of the county auditor's appraised value for a period of five years commencing in 2025, first due in calendar year of 2026, if approved by a majority of the electors voting thereon. Said levy shall be submitted to the electors in the general election to be held on November 5th, 2024 and to direct the clerk of this board to certify a copy of said resolution and certificate of the county auditor to the Board of Elections on or before 4 p.m. August 7, 2024, and notify said Board of Elections to cause notice on the questions of levying said tax to be given as required by law. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion, and we'll have uh, a bit of discussion just to clarify. 
Um, when we called this special meeting, when I called the special meeting, um, I called in yesterday. We checked with the prosecutor to make sure what we were doing was correct. We made sure that we checked with legal counsel, outside legal counsel, uh, that we're experts on Robert's Rules of Order and County Commissioner Business. And this is the way it's been done uh, hundreds, if not thousands of times statewide um, to, to call the meeting the way that we did. Um, there was some emails going around yesterday that said, you know, if we have this meeting, she's going to sue us. Um, if she wants to waste taxpayer dollars that way, the senior citizen's blood will be on her hands because we're not going to hold up funding our senior programs over a tantrum or, or she can have a difference of opinion, like I said, but if she wants to tie things up in court to try to block this and stop this, which could result in no services for our seniors uh, over the next five years or no services when, when the, 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 uh, the end comes up for the last levy, you know, I, I'm not going to be a part of that. We did all our due diligence as best we could to do this thing correctly, to readdress this thing. Um, and, um, Commissioner, Commissioner, uh, I'd just like to say, uh, since 2004, um, Trumbull County has been at the forefront of senior services. Uh, we were one of the first counties uh, in the state to to put on a senior levy. Uh, since 2004, uh, there's never been uh, obviously any increase in that. We have a waiting list of hundreds of seniors waiting for services, everything from adult daycare to uh, transportation to services across the board to, um, to look uh, those seniors in the eye. And our senior levy uh, committee, who is uh, a very diverse committee, it has Republicans, Democrats, uh, female, male, African-Americans, um, across the board, it's a great cross section of Trumbull County, and they unanimously got behind this and said this is absolutely necessary. Um, communities are judged by how they take care of their most vulnerable, and uh, Trumbull County has a rich history of taking care of our seniors, and we're going to continue to do just that. Appreciate those comments, Commissioner. Yeah. Yes, as soon as I finish up my, my, my thought here. Um, with that being said, I was against this replacement at first, too. You've heard in public meetings, when we had our workshops, we worked it out. We worked it out through the workshop. I'm not in favor of raising taxes on anybody. Um, the state raised our property taxes, not us in the county. We had nothing to do with that. The state raised the valuation. All this does is you pay the same portion of what you were paying before with this levy, but based on the new valuations that the state had. There are some people, as I said, that may pay less if their valuations of their house went down. There are some people that will pay a little bit more, but the average, uh, with doing the math, by numerous numerous outlets and experts, the average homeowner with a $100,000 house, which is, uh, there's a lot of houses less than that in our county, of course, are going to pay an extra 10 bucks. When I heard that and it was put to me that way in plain, simple math, uh, I think our seniors are worth 10 bucks. And I thank you, Diane. I thank the board for making that aware, uh, the awareness to me um, that that's all this increase is on the average with people. And for me to hit, take care of my next door neighbors and for me to take care of the people in my community, um, the elderly that have served us so well and, and are enjoying their golden years um, that may need a little assistance, you know, God bless them all. I wish we could do more, um, but with this replacement, I think this is a, a, an admirable and an honorable recommendation by our senior lever board um, that, it, as Commissioner Cannon Lace has said, is made up of a cross-section of our community, of our society, of our people. These are our citizens, and I'm, I'm glad to support it at this time. Mark the Yoder, Trumbull County Auditor. Uh, my first point is just to make a clarification with the clerk because I had a few people question me on this. Roll was called, correct? Yes. At the initial roll. Yes, it was right. before yes. we did anything. Right. I, I thought that I'd heard that, but then I have a couple people questioning me and it made me question my own judgment on it. <laughs> uh, so I just want to verify that because I want to make sure everything's correct. Um, second, I want to make sure that the public understands that 
the levy language that was used was done by statute. There was no funny business that happened. The millage is correct. It just applies to the new values. And that's why there's an increase because values have changed considerably from 2004 to 2024. The second thing is I noted in the story that was in the press today, and also uh, looking back at the meeting yesterday, there seems to be an, there was an implication that somehow you as a board or you too changed this from renewal to replacement behind a certain commissioner's back. That was, ha that occurred on July 3rd, the vote for, to, for the notice of need was done on July 3rd. It was discussed at the July 2nd meeting very extensively, the, this July 2nd workshop. It was voted on in a noticed and public meeting. She just wasn't there. So nothing was done behind her back. I wanted to make sure that was clear to people. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner, we have members of um... Our senior levy here. We have members, uh, different vendors and different entities that we deal with. Would anyone like to go on record uh, for the seniors and for the senior levy? I think it's worthwhile. I'd be remiss if I did not speak. This is, I'm Diane Jakovic. I'm the senior levy administrator. I've been in this position since 2010. We are operating with the same dollars as we collected in 2005. Wages have gone up, costs of, you know, everything has gone up. If we didn't have this increase, without this increase, what has happened is we're actually producing less service hours because the costs are going up. So less people are getting service based on those $2,005. We've re evaluated how much is needed it is more than what we're asking for, but at least we'll be able to hit a, a good portion of our waiting list. With people, I get calls constantly, you know, what good is senior levy if I can't get service? I cannot provide service to everybody that needs it in this county with the dollars that we're collecting. It breaks my heart to say, yes, we have these companies, but we're gonna put you on a waiting list. And I understand from Dave Merkin, who is present here with Comfort Keepers, that waiting list is over a year old, a uh, year long that people are waiting. The other point I want to make is put yourselves in your, your work day. Now you got to go home and take care of your parents because we don't have the funding to take care of them. It's going to be on the children. It's going to be on the neighbors to take care of the, the people around them. So take your busy day and then go home and take care of your parents as well. Feeding them, bathing them, laundry, accidents happen, bed sheeting needs redone. Lots of scenarios. So it, it breaks my heart to understand that people aren't getting that kind of service. Thank you, both of you, for understanding the need that is in Trumbull County. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Merkin? I'm Dave Merkin. I'm from Liberty Township. I'm also the owner of Comfort Keepers and Comfort Caravan. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank the two commissioners for supporting this. I've been involved in this program for almost the beginning, and it's a phenomenal program that helps countless numbers of people. I know politically it's a very difficult decision for you to make, but morally you've made the right decision. I know that we get calls daily for services, and we start this waiting list. It's heartbreaking to tell a child that we can't come take care of their mother who just had a stroke or, or whatever. We would only continue to do less services without this because the funds have now stayed the same, therefore dwindled. You're gonna allow us to really work on that waiting list, take care of those people who really need help. And again, I think it was a courageous and very, very nice, good role for the two of you to do what you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this um, this is part of the way of taking care of our seniors. This gets it to the ballot. The rest of me on the voters will have a chance to choose. And uh, based on 
uh, of recent voters choose pretty good lately. So I think voters will, will make another good choice when it comes to November uh, and we'll see how the electorate decides. Call the vote, please. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. This time, any public comment? I guess we already had that already, but if not, hearing none, I'm sorry, Ken. Good afternoon, commissioners. My name is Ken Balecki. I'm from the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation. I'm the direct, executive director of Jewish Family and Community Services, who also serves numerous seniors for the Home Delivered Meal Program. We just joined in a couple of years ago. We're on our second year right now. We serve 115 senior citizens, uh, frozen meals, five days a week. We've served about 1,500 meals per month to them. We also, on the off days of delivering, do wellness checks for those individuals. We've made calls to adult protective services. We keep in contact with the seniors when they don't uh, see us face to face and they get our food. We've gotten great feedback, but we greatly uh, appreciate your support um, in our program and in having this meeting this afternoon uh, for cont continued service. We hope to add more people. It's heartbreaking, as Dave said, to tell people that we can't take them onto the program. Uh, we have a lot of adult children who live out of state who depend on our program for their, their, um, their you know, parents. Uh, that live out of state, we take care of them, and it's a basic necessity for food. So we greatly appreciate your support, and again, for having this meeting today. Thank, Thank you, you for what you do. Thank you, Mr. Bolecki. Yes. You should get it. Absolutely not. The name and where you're from. Sure. My name is Carly Liptak. I work for St. Joe's at the mall. Um, we apply for grants through the senior levy. Um, we do get $5,000 every two years, or $10,000 every two years, um, $5,000 per year for that. Um, our seniors, like Lynn, that I have here also <laughs> with me, um, she is one of our members. Um, we provide balance classes and stability classes, but we also have the only Parkinson's group X class in Trumbull County that we have at our facility as well, too, that you guys provide us for with equipment, um, for our instructors as well, too. And that is a huge help that we are able to offer for our community. And thank you guys for voting yes for us to continue to have this. Um, you. you know, as Diane said, too, to go home and to take care of your parents and stuff like that. Recently, my mom was sick, so I I know what that's like as well, too. Um, but a lot of our seniors rely very heavily on not only our services, but we are very community involved as well. And we may reach out to Comfort Caravan for rides for our seniors to come and get support for things like that as well, too. And we have many of our members that participate through Meals on Wheels and things like that as well, too, that provide more for the community. So. Thank you guys for that. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Those balance classes are the best thing. I can't tell you. We brought you. You. I uh, did a story on us, and they showed all of us old people. <laughs> we can stand on one foot. Of older adults. Right? Yeah, forget the we can stand on one We're gonna need your name on the podium because they just can't for, hear you. Just for the record, we everything we legal. You can you can approach the podium and give us your name and state that. Done doing. Um, your, your name? My, my name is Lynn Welch. I live in Hubbard, Ohio, and I'm a registered voter. <laughs> um, and I joined St. Joe's five years ago when I got my first new knee. And then I kept going with my second new knee. And we do silver sneakers classes and balance classes and um, stability classes. I'm an instructor now. It's the best thing in the world. We have two to 300 people yeah. coming in a day. And not only do we get to stay fit, but it's social. We're connected with people. We have talk with the docs where we have doctors come in and tell us about their specialties and we know what's going on in our community. It's a wonderful organization. Thank you for supporting Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Hard to believe you're a senior citizen. I wish I, I wish I moved that spry. 
Maybe I need those glasses. Right. We need to dump more money in that program. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll entertain a motion. I'll take motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. Mr. Cantala Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you all for, for coming. coming. Thank you.